When we start our fitness journey, often it's motivated by wanting to lose weight and look better. If you're like me, the only thing you knew is that you need to eat less if you're going to lose weight. Now, no one told me that if you're just eating less, you're going to lose more than body fat. You'll lose muscle too, if that's the case. You need to resistance train and eat a balanced diet, including protein, fats, and carbs, to protect your muscle mass while losing body fat, with protein playing a vital role. We start with a very general understanding of nutrition, and over time we refine our knowledge, learning more detailed information as we go. This brings us to our discussion today. We all know we need protein to repair and build new muscle. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and there's one amino acid that plays a more significant role than all the others. We must get enough in our food to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Leucine is one of three branch chain amino acids that are known to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. These amino acids can't be made in the body and must come from food. The reason leucine is singled out is it's the most effective one at stimulating protein synthesis, which is the process of repairing and building new muscle tissue. This doesn't just happen after our workouts. It's happening in our bodies all the time. It's a continual process called protein turnover, where the older and damaged proteins in the cells are removed, called protein degradation, and replaced with new proteins or protein synthesis. If the removal of these damaged proteins happens faster than the rate of protein synthesis, then we have muscle wasting. Another thing it does is enhance glucose and insulin homeostasis. Insulin and glucagon are hormones that work together to keep your blood sugar levels in check. When these hormones aren't working properly, you'll get food cravings, and you can even end up suffering from prediabetes and diabetes. So how much leucine should you be taking every day? To try and find this, I read a wide range of recommendations, with the low end being about 14 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, and the high end as much as 45 milligrams. The good news is if you're taking in enough protein from high quality food sources, you'll get all the leucine you need. Meats top the list of foods high in leucine, with chicken, beef, and pork leading the pack. Fish and dairy are also good sources. Nowadays, people are trying to cut back on their meat consumption. For those, navy beans are a great choice, having slightly more leucine per 100 grams than milk, and tofu has even more. Beans in general have a generous amount of leucine. The next step down from beans is nuts and seeds. These contain about half or less the amount of leucine found in beans, but it's still a reasonable amount. Pumpkin and squash seeds top the list, with hemp seeds following close behind. Walnuts and pistachios head up the list for nuts. Now, I don't want you to think I'm underestimating the importance of the other amino acids, and in particular, the nine essential amino acids of which leucine is one of. We need these amino acids to live, and our bodies can't make them, so it's critical we get them from food. This is why I always recommend whole food eating over taking supplements. If we just took a leucine supplement, we'd be neglecting all the other essential amino acids that we need, along with all the vitamins and minerals necessary for optimal health. First and foremost, we should always be looking at whole foods to find out what mix of protein-based foods we should be eating to get maximum muscle growth. Watch this video next and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence of Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.